hey guys welcome back to my channel this is your boy Emmanuel and welcome back to yet another video from me today we're gonna look at a software which is primarily used for audio editing which is none other than audacity you guys so today we're gonna look at how audacity works and how to create a simple audio file using audacity so before getting into that I wanted to download a standard license audio file to use in my video so i have chosen this let's take a listen so audio looks pretty dope you guys so i'm gonna click on download and i'm gonna create a new folder called audio and get into the folder and then save the audio all right you guys i've saved the audio here so i'm gonna quickly minimize this here we are at the Audacity's UI. For those who doesn't know how to download Audacity, I'm gonna show you how. I'm in the Google search page here, and I'm gonna search for Audacity and hit enter. There you go, this is the website for Audacity. Now I'm gonna click on this link. There you go. This is the website for audacity it is a free audio editing software so you can just click here download for windows for mac and for linux operating systems and easily download your audacity's executable file and start installing and once you get it installed if you open it through the desktop shortcut you can find this ui here so first of all in audacity when we start recording the first step that we have to do is to come to the bottom left corner here to set up the frequency rate usually it is 4400 basically uh, this is a good frequency rate where uh, the audio quality is crisp and clear and it's really fantastic to hear all right the next thing that we have to do is to set up our audio so here you can see there is a button called audio setup so i'm going to click here and i'm going to go to recording device and i'm going to choose microphone that i'm using all right so once you do that you don't see anything to let us know that we are recording so i'm going to click on this microphone button here and i'm going to click on start monitoring there you go can you see this so here we see our microphone recording now so without doing this you cannot actually record your audio all right so here there is an option for speaker if i click on the options here we can uh, set up the sound we can set up the meter and also we could set up uh, whether it is a horizontal audio or a vertical audio or just automatic so i'll just click on cancel over here because we won't be doing it for now all right so we have our microphone set up and the next thing that we are going to do is to record a piece of audio and how do we do that so there is a button called record here you can also press shift plus r to start recording um, but you know the best way is to click and start recording so i'm gonna click here and start a new recording hey guys this is emmanuel and i'm gonna show you how audacity works and in this video we're gonna look at other pretty features that audacity has to offer so continue watching this video all right so i have a piece of audio here where i can edit this audio so the first thing that i would like to do is talk about the timeline you know here once we started the recording there's an automatic 
display of the audio one here uh, which audacity has recorded for us all right so in case if i wanted to you know zoom in all i had to do is click on zoom in button over here so as you can see if i zoom in i can zoom in the timeline and if i click on the zoom out option here i can zoom out the timeline as well all right so there is an option to actually uh, zoom to selection so since i have not selected anything now uh, it just tells me to select and i'm going to click on ok and i'm going to select this particular portion and click on the button here which actually zooms my selected clip and i'm going to quickly click on the zoom out button here to actually zoom out all right so to select a part of the clip all you have to do is click at the middle and then drag to select the part of the clip or if you just don't want to or if you just don't want to select any clip just click outside and the selection will be gone all right so this is how we do that or we can just press control and then move the scroll button to actually uh, expand the timeline and shorten the timeline all right guys now i'm gonna show you how to trim your audio i think uh, i'm gonna select this part of the audio and i don't want this so all i have to do is click on the button here which says silence audio so i'm gonna click here to silence the audio over here and if I need to remove this, all I have to do is I'm going to select this and press the delete button. And there you go. The audio has been deleted. So this is pretty fantastic, you guys. So, you know, I also don't want this beginning portion here. So I'm going to select this beginning portion and press the delete button. There you go. And I also don't want this. So I'm going to select the end part here and I'm going to click on delete too. All right. This looks fantastic, you guys. Now let's look at how our audio turned out to be. Hey guys, this is Emmanuel and I'm going to show you how Audacity works. And in this video, we're going to look at other pretty features that Audacity has to offer. So continue watching this video. As you can see, the audio has only played once what must we do to create a loop so i'm gonna select the entire area on the top and i'm gonna drag this to the beginning and then i'm gonna click on the loop button here and now if i play hey guys this is emmanuel and i'm gonna show you how audacity works and in this video we're gonna look at other pretty features that audacity has to offer so continue watching this video hey guys this is emmanuel and i'm gonna show you there you go the loop has been done so if you don't want this loop and if you want to remove it just click on the loop button once again and the loop will be off so this you can do it uh, for a specific part of the audio as well so that's that and there are some cool features that you can add to this audio clip here so the first thing that i would like to do is select this part of the audio and i'm gonna do a fade in so i'm gonna click on effect and i'm gonna create a fade in so as you can see the timeline audio changes now if i play this audio check it out hey guys this is emmanuel and i'm gonna so there is a little fade in added to this audio so at the beginning and and now at the end i want to just add a fade out so i'll just select the clip at the end and i'm gonna click on effect and under the option of fading i'm gonna create i'm gonna click on fade out so see in this video there you go the fade out has started so as you can see we can enable fade ins and fade outs to our audio file here with ease just by clicking on the effect button and clicking on fade in and fade out all right 
you can create adjustable fade crossfade and crossfade tracks this is for people you know uh, who do it professionally but uh, you know for youtubers and people who are new to audacity you know just understand fade in and fade out and i think that would be wonderful now i would like to adjust the volume so how do i do that you can see this uh little gray line here right so once i hover over my mouse cursor over here it turns to a different cursor now if i just click and drag it like this you know i could i can adjust the volume like this so you can either do like this or you know you could you could select the entire audio and click on effect and the volume and compression you can actually amplify just click on amplify and you could set up the decibel value and click on apply and you could actually increase the volume all right it's great guys now you know under effect you could actually select eq and filters you can actually uh create a lot of filters because uh, you know uh, this eq and filters is for you know some devices that you connect to actually record the audio from them some musical instruments you know um, and also you could set up the pitch and tempo you could actually change the pitch you know uh, once the music is out you know if you have included an audio then change the pitch or change the speed of the audio then you could do it here as well which is fantastic you guys and you could create delay and reverb uh, which you can do to create a nice barking sound of the dog to be uh you know looking very badass the next thing i'm gonna show you is to add another audio so how do i do that it is very simple i'm gonna hover over to the folders here and i'm gonna go to the desktop and i'm gonna look for the music file that we have created here and i'm gonna just drag it and drop it here there you go guys the music file has been added since this is a stereo file we've got double but uh, when it comes to the audio file here it is a mono audio so that's why we don't see a double timeline here all right so let's see let's play it out hey guys this is emmanuel and i'm gonna show you how that I couldn't hear my voice already so how do I reduce it all right I'm gonna select this entire audio clip and I'm gonna reduce the volume like this now let's check it out yes this is Emmanuel and I'm gonna show you how audacity works and in this video still it's pretty loud this is Emmanuel and I'm gonna show you how audacity works and in this video we're gonna look at other pretty features that audacity has to offer so continue watching this video all right I'm gonna select the entirety of the last audio here and click delete once again I'm gonna do that I'm gonna click on delete there you go guys so now i've got the audio clip and i've got my voice set up equally and here i'm gonna try playing it out once again i'm gonna place my cursor here and click on play hey guys this is emmanuel and i'm gonna show you how audacity works and in this video we're gonna look at probably i'll reduce the volume a little bit lower great now let's take a look hey guys this is Emmanuel and I'm gonna show you how audacity works and in this video we're gonna look at other free features that audacity has to offer so continue watching this video great so this looks pretty professional you guys all right you guys this is how we create a nice little audio file for our recording and you could add multiple devices for record and create your audio in the same timeline so this is how we use audacity 
and there are much more to audacity than you really want to know i think for simple content creators uh, the knowledge that i have shared is pretty good for making your first audio recording using audacity also there are several things that you can do if you click on the effect and click on noise removal you can just you know uh, reduce the surrounding noises and you could repair the audio file you could actually uh, remove the clicks that you do while you record the audio and stuff like that it's pretty cool you guys so i think i've given you a brief overview of audacity and how it works and before ending this video i just wanted to tell you how to share this audio as you can see there is a button here which says share audio if i click on it and i can actually share it to an account that i use it might be soundcloud or it might be uh any sound sharing platform that you use you can actually link your account and share the audio or else you can just click on file and click on export and here you can export it as an mp3 so that's it from me today guys i hope this video was useful i think this is the first video that i'm making on an audio editor so please support and leave your comments below so that i can do much better videos Alrighty guys, thanks for watching and see you next time. If you like my videos, please subscribe and look out for the other videos that I'm gonna post. Thank you for watching.